I'm here at Monash University to show you how a series of randomly arranged pavers create this bridge between the campus and one of the best gardens in the country. Congratulations, this is yeah. an extraordinary experience to be here. How did it all come about? Tim, the university had this fantastic brief to make uh, a new rock garden as a teaching resource and uh, that had been around for a couple of years. We came on and started to look at the design from a landscape point of view and mesh this fantastic brief of a scientific approach to a rock garden with a, a landscape experience. It's an outdoor classroom essentially, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, indeed. Students come out here and measure the rocks, locate the rocks. Not my cup of tea, but I yeah. get how they like it. And there's also spaces for informal gatherings, yeah. you know, tutorial groups, that sort of thing. Yep. It's an interesting idea, isn't it, that it's part yeah. of the landscaping of the university. It's an active classroom. But all the rocks are placed in particular spaces at particular angles for certain reasons, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. It's become a bit like a system garden for rocks. So each rock is arranged and located in a particular way to tell a geological story. What's your favourite part? I think the basalt columns. We've got these fantastic, almost Aladdin's cave of crystal columns. And also this wonderful geological map we made in this beautiful earth tone brick pavers. Yeah, tell us yeah. about this. That's How does right. it work? Well, it looks like a pixelated version of, of a geologist's map. And in the centre there, you can just pick up a little bit of Port Phillip Bay. It's meant to look like information, but not actually be you know, literal. So it's an abstract form of mapping. And how did you choose the pavers and the different colours? Well, it really came out of finding a material that's going to represent a really natural earth-toned mm. approach. So part of the design is about the Clayton experience. Here in Clayton, the underlying clay was a really big feature of the early days of the university. Mm. So we wanted something that talked about the local condition of Clayton and brick became you know, a really obvious choice for that. And the staggered colours, they just mould so perfectly into the whole of the landscaping. Was that difficult to do or did the product do all the heavy lifting for you? The great thing about the brick is the colour fastness, so it's going to hold its colour for a long, very long time. But we actually documented the location of every brick, so with using a computer program, each brick is actually located, and then the, the poor guys on site have to <laughs> tick each one off. <laughs> Tell me about the pavers yeah. over there, and how did they work it out? Well, they have a, a, literally have a map. Yeah, we gave them a location of every brick, like yeah. a tiling pattern, yeah. uh, 1 to 25 drawings, and they have to tick everyone off, and we come along and check it. And you checked them. Did yeah. they get it? Are they all in the right spot? A, there were a couple of errors and they yeah. were, were fixed. There was a few odd ones floating out in the middle of Port Phillip Bay over there, so <laughs> they were all fixed. <laughs> so what's yeah. the response been from not just the students but the yeah. other people in the university? Some people have talked about it as a kind of challenge to orthodoxy, a challenge to normal commercial landscape and uh, campus design. But I think those who see the merit in ideas yeah. and this semi-natural approach to design you know, really see the merit in it. Universities about experimentation, yeah. aren't they? They're about new ideas, and so doing something like this is a great I gift to just to, right. to generations of kids who are going to come through here and yeah. be affected by it in ways they don't understand. Yeah, and I think a lot of us talk about the Australian landscape in a very generic way. So here it was fantastic to say, what's special about Victoria? Yeah, and how do you sort of highlight that? Being able to make something about Victoria and make it really special, and really focus on that and crystallise what was special about Victoria was a really interesting design study. To help you discover your perfect style, download your free style inspiration guide. Click on the button now or visit bpp.style slash style guide.